I'd like to open it up for anybody that has questions if you wanted to raise your hand um, or take us down a different path. Uh, there we go, Catherine Hunter. Uh, Catherine Hunter Blinder, why don't you go first and Mari, you'll be next. Yeah, so um, the pandemic certainly had some impact on, on nonprofits, but 14 years ago when we were in a recession, I was that's when I first started working with nonprofits. And part of the reason I did, at least here in Southern California, what we saw is there were a lot of nonprofits that not only lost um, the smaller donors, but lost foundations, institutional donors, because we were in a recession. What what are we what are your thoughts on what is to come in the next couple of months or year um, as we navigate the current financial turmoil. Feel free to take that one later. Uh, good question. Uh, during the recession, the foundations shifted their priorities to basic services. So, so nonprofits that weren't in that space were hurt, uh, to be sure. Um, now, foundations, their spending, their spending policies typically are a three-year rolling average, uh, the returns over a three-year rolling average. So because the market has been so strong the last three years, regardless of how it's how it's behaving now, uh, the total amount of giving it from foundations will probably be quite higher at, at a peak for the next couple of years, despite the down market now. So um, the greatest activity in philanthropy has been the creation of donor advised funds and private foundations. So when you see those giving numbers, that includes people giving to their donor advised fund in a community foundation or fidelity. So point being, there's a lot of money that's been stashed for giving away later, as well as foundations being feeling wealthy right now. So I, I expect to see a lot more foundation activity, even though it still only makes up 15 or 20% of total giving uh, to nonprofits. Right. Foundations I also tend to be project oriented, right? They, you know, and then they get bored and they move on to something else. So. Well, actually, uh, thanks for raising that. Uh, foundations are probably getting tuned in uh, to the fact that they need to give unrestricted dollars to nonprofits mm -hmm. to keep the lights on. Mm -hmm. An important point. That's sort of a revelation over the last three, four or five years. So there's more of that. 